Hey, I call that shot. Yep. I call there that he shot, is. boys. Now that's, you know, what plug is this? That's the MD. Quality fish. That's Real what good. That's what we're trying to catch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, John. That is a good fish. That's a nice chunk, boy. Yeah. That's, that's a, nice a good one. How big is it? How big is it? Oh, hold on. He's a good one. He's a big one. Oh, barely hold. He's a nice one. He is the current record holder with nine BASS Angler of the Year awards, has 19 BASS tournament wins, and qualified for the Bassmasters Classic 25 times. Hey, way to go, John! Hey, where do you go, son? I'm hung up. <laughs> oh, we got one. Okay. High Rock, North Carolina. The cranking expert himself, John Cruz. Woo! Oh, boy, I tell you what, folks, that's a good bass, huh? Let's get them. Okay, folks. Well, today we're going to show you, folks, a little bit about crankbait fishing. We're fishing with the crankbait expert himself, John Cruz from Spro Tackle. He designed and developed that little plug. And what's the yeah. name of that plug? This is the Little John MD. For Little John Cruz. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's and that's a, a good one, John. Oh yeah. Now uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're a high rock, and it's 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 in uh, around Thanksgiving. Right. And uh, here I'll let you have that fish. What uh what what, what do you expect to catch? What do you think we'll do? Um, you know, this is a time of year that I love to I love to get out there and crank because. Uh, usually, the, you know, a lot of the lakes are down. Uh, High Rock is down for uh, for the working on the dam a little bit, but um, but you know, a lot of the lakes are down. Uh, concentrates the fish, gets them out of the shoreline cover, isolates them on uh, you know on the on the little points, the little rocky stuff, and that's what can happen when you when you put the crankbait to work. We're going to show you the ABCs of some good crankbait fishing, so stay tuned. Bass Pro Shops presents fishing with Roland Martin. Brought to you by Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, designed by fishermen for fishermen. And by Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Closed caption provided by Spro Lures. Bass Pro Shops is a proud sponsor of Fishing with Roland Martin. Now, John, we're back in position where you just caught that nice fish. There might be a school of fish here, right? You That's know, right. It's a good chance. So. That's right. Yeah, when you when you find them in the fall, like, they'll be on similar types of cover, and a lot of times you can catch two or three in one area. Hopefully, hopefully that's the case here. John, yeah, you might explain to the camera just what kind of a retrieve you used on that last fish. Sure. Th this water's kind of off-colored, so. Uh, I think they have a hard time, you know, keying in on that vibration. So I like to I like to reel it a little bit slower when the when the water's this dingy. Um, but you know, I love the dingy water for a crankbait. That is a big key to the crankbait now is, let me is look having that it dingy water. Second. This is your Spro Little John, and it's like a crawfish yeah. colored. Uh, and what what do you call that lip pattern? That's the uh, that's the MD model, the and MD. Uh, Spring Craw is the is the color. Spring Craw. It's got a little bit of red in it. Um, oh boy. So it's it's a good. Well, it's I good got one. a fire tiger. If you catch another one. I'm going to that color. I hear you. That's what we do. We got to figure them out. Yeah. Make I don't know what this is. That's, a, that's a, a big fish. old fish. That's what it is. It's yeah. a fish. He ate the little shallow diver. Now the difference is, when John caught his first fish, he had he had the uh, the deeper diver. Now I, I purposely put the shallower diver on, and I shoot I threw shallower. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a nice little keeper bass. Now what's the keeper size here in, in I believe it's 14 inches. Now, uh, now explain that model plug. What, 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 what plug this is, is the uh, this is the, the original, original, the original Little John 50, John. right? And that's the one we use so much at Lake Okeechobee because it's, it is a shallow uh, crankbait. Thank and you had them in there, good. Four foot, something like that. It runs yeah, four, four to five feet, and uh, these Gamagatsus were, were stuck they in there. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, there you really go. Shallow. Well, that's a nice little nice little bass. But anyway, we're we're. Now what I did to catch that fish, John, let me let me just I'll try it again. Yep. Okay, John has a little bit deeper plug on, so I, I purposely threw to that big chunky rock right up there in about two feet of water. 
I'm going along real slow and I kind of stopped it. Slow, kind of stopped it, and he just loaded up on it like that. Oh, he loaded up on it just like that, but I think that was a rock. But anyway, that's, uh, that was the retreat. Remember, the water temperature is only 50 degrees. They're fairly lethargic and slow. So I don't think a fast retrieve is going to be the deal. No. You want any lip balm or anything? I'm no? good. Thank you. Good. I've got to put it on a couple times a day just to... Yeah, it'll roast your lips. I got my, uh, last week I got my lips lip burnt. They weren't sunburnt, it was lit, it was wind burnt. Fat box. Six and a quarter pounder. Right there. Got one, I got there one. He is. I got one, I got one, I got one. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it's a good one too. Hey, I called that shot. Yep, you I said there he shot, is. Boys. I did, it's a good fish too, boys. Real nice. Man, they're strong. Now that's, you know, what plug is this? That's the MD. That's the, that's the, the, the deeper diving. I do have a net, but we can at least talk about what we got here. Yeah. Hey, that's nice. A, that's another good quality fish. Now, I saw those rocks and you could just see them underwater. I had these good uh, flying fishermen sunglasses and there's a couple big rocks just under the water. When I came by it, I just stopped it. Just barely moved it and just come to the next rock and just stopped it. And mm -hmm. it wasn't but two or three feet deep. Right. And it's cold weather. It's, what, 50 degrees? The water has come up. Now, tell us about the wind. You, you chose this spot because of the wind. Yeah, the, wind, the wind's blowing right down through. I got to gotta turn the boat a little bit just so the, uh, we don't hit the bank. But, but yeah, the, the wind definitely is your friend on, on days like this. It helps blow that, that warmer water warmer right on water the bank. In there. Uh, that, I think it pushes, gets the fish, fish right up on the bank. That's, that's a good a one. quality fish. That's Real good. We, that's what we're trying to catch. Yeah, tell me about the transfer system. How does that, how does that work? It's got a soft tungsten weight uh, ball in it that when, when, when pressure goes towards the back or when it's tipped back, it rolls to the back okay. and it puts all the weight in the rear so of the bait. The so, it, so it casts like a bullet. Okay. Uh, and then once it, once it hits it's the water, forward. it comes, it, it rolls back forward into the forward position. So it stays ah, in this so it goes deep. and then it goes down okay. and uh, it just really helps the bait uh, get where you want it to and, um, well, and you can cast it. How loud it is. Yeah, it's got, it's, got, it's got that little soft thump to it. And um, you know, I think that's another another part of it. Plus, it's got the flat sides. It's, uh, well, now, it's got a lot, of, a lot of different components that I wanted in a bait that I couldn't find. Now that we're out of the wind, John, I am going to take off my frog coat. No rain. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's enough. It's a windbreaker, and there's no wind right here. But you're right behind a point. <laughs> A good one. That's okay. a good one too. It's a big one. Look at that guy. Okay, what are we talking about, John? That's it. Good. Good. Oh, good. barely go. Uh, yep. <laughs> big old fish. Back in the shade again. Yeah. That's a good deal. I just broke my line off. We have a. Oh, look at that one. That's a good one too. That's what we're talking yeah. about. Did you oh, notice the way John barely landed that? Now, in, in the in the elite series, do you can you use a net? No, no, so you got to. You, you've really developed on. some really. Oh yeah, you got to. You get them right up under here. A lot of yeah. times, that'll just stabilize them. Uh, if you can't grab them, or you grab them here, but, but yeah, that's a good I chunk. I like the way Man, you, that you have to show us how to do that, that without a net landing or fish with a crankbait. Oh yeah, that was look at that big chunk. That's a big chunk. That's, that's a chunky hey, fish. Hey, looks like he's been eating some Thanksgiving oh, feast already. Right? Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving bass. That's a good one. How, how were you retrieving that? That was just a steady retrieve, and man, he just he just stopped it. He just okay. absolutely thumped it. Okay. As hard as he hit it, I thought it was going to be one of those great big ones we've been, been looking for. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Spike It. If fish don't like it, spike it. Nitro Boats presents this segment of Fishing with Roland Martin. A good one. Make a five pounder now. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, John. That is a good fish. That's a nice bass. Okay, Tom. Let me hold this right. 
I tell you what, we have caught some beautiful fish today. Wow, done. You got them? I got them. You got them? Oh, got them. Water's got a little cooler. The sun's went behind the clouds. It's come in and out of the clouds. But yeah. you know, John, throughout the whole day, you have showed us a few things about, about cranking. And uh, a lot of the things that were important, the wind had, had a right. big part, part to do with it. Uh, the speed of the retrieve, the, the pause that you, that you incorporated in, in your retrieve. Exactly, yeah, just that like that last fish was, was right on the pause, just like you're saying. You well, John, that's a, good, that's a good deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and run the trolling motor. You need suppliers? Yeah, we I don't have any suppliers. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> That's a nice, that's a nice chunk, boy. Yeah, that's, that's a nice, a good nice fish there. That is a good, big, fat, fat fish. That's just... Now, what were you just a real slow retrieve? I just, uh, just bumping it on those rocks real oh, slow, really? and then I stopped it, and it was almost like a worm bite just went, boom, just, boom, just like that. And I, I pulled back, and it didn't move, and I, I, it was kind of spongy, so I knew that was, uh, that was business right there. You know, John, the bite today has been steady and consistent. We've caught quite a few fish, believe it or not. There's yeah. a lot of three and four pound fish that's been, been really good. You know, we've been talking about a lot of technique, but we also need to talk about some, the lures themselves. And right. Some of the models that we're using today. Maybe show the camera just just some of the some of the options they'd have on a day like today. All right, we can do that. Yeah, you know, we've, we've thrown three baits most of the day okay. uh, today. We've thrown the... Um, the Fat John, yeah, which I is like this that. bait here, that's, that's uh, it's a square bill type crankbait, and okay. it's got uh, it's got a real hard thump to it. To, you know, more of a power crankbait is what I say. Right. And that, and that, that runs what down about four or five feet. About right? four feet. Okay. Uh, you can grind it in two and three feet. Uh, okay. Throw it on you know twelve, maybe fourteen pound test. You don't want to go too big. Now here's um, the old standard. Here's the yeah. original uh, Little John plug. That's right. That's chartreuse one. And that's, that's one that we, we all just at Okeechobee, we just go crazy over that one. Yeah, it's the original. The first one I designed uh, many years ago, and yeah, uh, we've kind of built on it. And then the, the other one we've thrown uh, quite a bit today is the MD, the medium dive. a dive. little bit deeper. What is it? This one goes, what, four or five foot? About four to five. And this one goes about uh, six, you know, six to eight. Six to um, eight. You can get it on down to about eight, eight or nine at, um, on a long, real long cast. But, you know, these two baits have very different vibrations. They, they um, this one has more of a pivoting action, and the, the MD has more of a swimming side-to-side -side action. And then you've got the Fat John with a, real, with a real hard thump, hard, hard with a little bit of a hunt to it. So you got three completely different actions, uh, and then we've been kind of mixing it up, trying to trying to find out what the, what the fish wants. Now, I've it's heard of, uh, about your new secret lure that you're working on now. Oh, are yeah. Are you going to really show oh, the camera yeah. that? You, huh? Yeah, we'll, what, we'll, we'll that? give them a little tell, peek. Tell us, tell us a little bit about it. It's still a secret thing. It's a prototype that John's been working on. This is uh, ready to come out with. just a, pr a, pr a prototype color here. But it's a it's the Little John XL, and as you can see, okay. it's what quite a bit bigger. Now, what's quite it going to do? What depth? It's a uh, it's it's just like a giant flat sided, shallow running crankbait, but it gets all the way down to about eight feet. Mm -hmm. um, so it's got that uh, slow float, just like the, uh, the the all the other Little Johns, and you can you can heave it out there a mile, yeah, and uh, it's but it's got that hard thump. That uh, I mean, so I, I don't know of any other baits that that have that kind of hard hard right. thump that get down to uh, to that depth and have well, that big profile. You wouldn't let me use one today because oh, he no. only has a couple of them. Not a chance. We kind of approach it. <laughs> but in the meantime, these are the three that we're using today, and boy, I think uh, I think we're going to just start fishing again, and uh, I like them all. These are all my favorite little. Oh yeah, and that's just part yeah. part of the uh, part of the family, as, as I call them, of the little right. Johns and Fat Johns. We've got some other models, but that's just been what we've been focusing on today. You know, Roland, one of the neat things that, that Spro's doing now is they're having Spro-only tournaments. And they, oh, they were so successful. Like a Spro Frog tournament. Yeah. That's so cool. That's yeah, cool. They've, they've, done, uh, they've done them at Gunnersville and yeah. I think Havasu and uh, get great turnouts, 100% payback. And uh, I think this coming year we're going to do some crankbait-only oh, tournaments. Sid going to be uh, the head marketing guy for, for Spro has been bragging about this. it's going to really be fun it's going to be just hundreds of people all fishing the same lure all basically the same lures what, what are some of the restrictions how's it going to work uh it's uh it's, it's just a spro only tournament where you can only use uh spro crankbaits is what we're going to do i think they're going to do some more frog tournaments so it's you know spro frogs yeah. only uh and you know, like i said 100 percent payback 
you can go on to uh, the, the Spro USA uh -huh. Facebook page and find out more information and uh, more announcements about where they're going to be and when they're going to be and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably.